A profession in crisis, those words from Twin Cities nurses who began a three-day strike on Monday. They're calling it one of the largest private sector nurses strikes in history. About 15,000 nurses in the metro and in Duluth walked off the job on Monday. Reporter Sonia Goins shows us how the three-day strike is impacting North Memorial Health Hospital in Robbinsdale and what's behind the walkout. There are about 300 nurses here at North Memorial Health walking the picket line. The Minnesota Nurses Association and hospital officials have been negotiating for about six months without reaching a deal over wage increases and staffing issues. Nurses with the Minnesota Nurses Union are striking at 16 hospitals, including at North Memorial Health Hospital. The nurses agreed to strike after negotiations over the weekend didn't produce new three-year contracts. Last week, we met twice with the employers. Uh, we work until late at night, um, and then we were not able to reach agreement. Hospital officials said that they are sorry to see the nurses' union take this action. We're disappointed in everything they've done. We felt they've rushed into this all along, and this strike is on the union and the union alone. We are the union. One of the major sticking points is pay increases. The union is asking for a total of 30 percent over the next three years. The Twin Cities Hospital Group says that the wage demands are unrealistic. Our current offers are at 11 and 12 percent, and we've told them we're willing to go higher than that. We have hospitals that we represent that have lost hundreds of millions of dollars so far in 2022 alone. The nurses' union also says that they are concerned about work environment and patient safety because they say many hospital units are short-staffed. What that means is that nurses are going to be taking care of more patients per nurse than they can uh, they should be having. We are the nurses. The Twin Cities Hospital Group says that they plan to have adequate staff to care for patients during the strike. The mighty, mighty nurses. They bought in replacement nurses and are shifting schedules around. We'll continue to make adjustments. Our care teams are, are working around the clock to make sure that our patients are all cared for. We'd rather be working with patients right now. We don't want to be out here. In Robbinsdale, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The Minnesota Department of Health is on hand to make sure everything is running smoothly at area hospitals. The strike is scheduled to end on Thursday morning. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.